Hey, this is Ian and Ira from EssentialTennis.com, where it's our mission to bring passionate instruction to passionate tennis players just like you. Welcome to this video tutorial in which I'm going to be answering a question for Stephen Page, who wrote, left a comment on YouTube and asked, how do I keep my forehand from sailing long? And this is a really common problem that a lot of players misdiagnose and they try to fix the wrong thing. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So uh, just imagine you're playing a point and you make a full, you know, confident forehand swing and you miss by like a couple of feet. And so it's a nice confident swing, but you miss by a couple of feet. It wasn't terribly off, but you miss by a little bit. The most common reaction that I see from tennis players is on the very next ball, they say, they say to themselves, uh, sorry, <laughs> they say to themselves, oh, I hit that last one too hard. And on the very next one, they hit a shot that looks something like this. And they just kind of like guide the next one in because they tell themselves, oh, the problem is I swung too fast, I swung too hard. That's absolutely wrong. If that was the case, if the problem was that you swung too hard, then nobody would be able to swing any faster than you just did and make the forehand, which obviously is not the case because we see players on TV and even at your local courts hitting huge shots that still land in play. So what is the fix? Well, there's a lot of different factors that play into exactly where the ball goes, but we're gonna focus on the single biggest one that impacts whether or not the ball goes too far. And that is the angle of your racket face at contact. If you make a full, confident, aggressive forehand swing and your racket face is open, meaning angled up towards the sky by even just a little bit, then chances of your shot sailing long are very, very high. So when you make a confident swing like the first one that I hit and you miss it by just a little bit, don't get scared and hit tentatively on the next one. Instead, on the next swing, continue to make a full swing, but just close the angle of your strings, meaning angle them down a little bit more. And by a little bit, I'm talking a couple of degrees. If you go from here to here, promise you, you will hit the net if you're in the same place on the courts and the ball is at the same height, et cetera, et cetera. So make small adjustments and continue to make a confident swing. If every time you miss deep, you get scared and tentative, your level of play will plateau hard and you'll stay there for a very long time. It's only once you're able to maintain a confident full swing and make the right change that your ability to really increase in level really becomes uh, apparent. So, uh, Stephen, hopefully that's really helpful to you. Uh, I've got a free series of coaching that actually covers this. There's a whole video about adjustments, uh, meaning when you hit into the net, what adjustments should you make? When you miss long, what adjustments should you make? When you miss right or left? If you'd like free access to that coaching, there's a link in the description right down below. It's called Pinpoint Ground Strokes. The whole point is to give you the most accurate and consistent ground strokes you've ever hit in your life. So check that out. If uh, this has been useful, do me a favor and click like. Also, leave any comments or questions that you have down in the box down below this video player. And with that, thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate it. Take care and good luck with your tennis.